Hi, my name is Adone, and this is the second part of my interview, and we're just going to talk about some of the art. So this is a piece of my friend Isha. Uh, I did it in uh, oil pastels. It's a quick sketch, but just so that she can take a little gift um, home with her. And um, I used um, a really soft style of sketching it. A very rapid um, a la prima style and um, right here to the left is um, an illustration I did uh, this is the Philip representing the Filipino people uh, that live in Hawaii so um, I used one of my friends as a model and then I kind of did a cartoon style of, of, of this piece uh, so her her skirt type of piece is the red. The lei on her shoulders represents the blue of the Filipino flag. And the sun is the Filipino sun that's on the actual flag. Um, the hibiscus on her head represents the Hawaiian culture, along with the bracelet and the ankle uh, bracelets. And so that's done in a traditional cartoony animation style. And then the one that's on top of that, that's bare essence of the way. And what it means is that he's doing the unity sign in front of his face and behind him, he's doing the peace sign. So through unity, we get peace. And so that's why it's bare essence of the way. So this is a man who's stripped of his own skin. Um, so you can see the muscles because he has no skin. So therefore, he has no ethnicity, no, no type of um, color, per se. Um, he could be from any race, actually. And that way, uh, you know, we keep it, um, it's, it's non-biased. So that's, that's the purpose of the piece. It represents non-biased unity, um, you know, and coming together as a people. So it's a very important piece for me. Uh, the original artist of this piece, his name is Bern Hogarth. What I did is I used something that he did from the book Dynamic Anatomy. And then of course I, I modified the hands um, for the purpose of the message. So that, that's why I did that. And then over here to the right, these are really old pieces. That was one of my first acrylic portraits that I did as a young man. And then next to it is another one too. It's kind of like the, the birth, you know, the embryo and the egg, you know, with the uh, electricity, um, like the energy that's forming. Um, so when he's born, you know, he's gonna be, um, I guess, you know, coming out of the universe, per se. It's a really nice piece. I, I, I was very young when I did these. I was a teenager, but I've had them for a long time. And then here towards the right, <clears throat> this is charcoal on paper in a um, very traditional style. Uh, it's a reproduction of um, Raphael's Jesus portrait. And so I did this for my mother. She was a very religious woman and she loved Jesus. So I went ahead and did a portrait um, of, of the Renaissance uh, artist, um, Raphael. So you can see it's done in a very chiaroscuro style, which is very Baroque, but a lot of the Renaissance artists were the pioneers of this style. And then here towards the right of that is an oil painting of a still life, which is um, which is a still life of uh, you know fruit, and that was painted by my dad um, in New York many years ago, over. Uh, 
50 years ago, he painted that. So this is a very old piece. That's painted, like I said, in oil on, on, on masonite board on canvas. So canvas stretched on masonite, bo masonite board, painted in oils. And then here is a watercolor. Now this is a very pe peculiar piece. Uh, this is my cousin. And when she was nine years old, she had to get operated. Uh, she w had all her reproductive uh, organs removed. Um, so uh, I did a portrait of her, like honoring her for going through that. And um, I did it in watercolor. So it's very, very uh, melancholical piece. Watercolor on paper. The style was also done in a very traditional style. So um, I think this concludes the interview. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, being part of my interview. And, uh, you know, stay tuned and support old school Zumba.